when I wrote my first paper, uh, the senior people who were working with me on that paper told me this one profound thing, which is that every sentence you write in a paper should be backed with a citation, with a with a citation from another peer-reviewed paper or an experimental result in your own paper. Anything else that you say in the paper is more like an opinion. That, that's it's it's a very simple statement, but pretty profound in how much it forces you to say things that are only right. And we took this principle and asked ourselves, what is the best way to make chatbots accurate? Is force it to only say things that it can find on the internet, right? And find from multiple sources. So this kind of came out of a need rather than, oh, let's try this idea. When we started the startup, there were like so many questions all of us had because we were complete noobs never built a product before, never built like a startup before. Of course, we had worked on like a lot of cool engineering and research problems, but doing something from scratch is the ultimate test. And there were like lots of questions, you know, what is the health insurance, like the first employee we hired, he came and asked us for health insurance, normal need, I didn't care. I was like, why do I need a health insurance this company dies, like who cares? Um, my other two co-founders had were married, so they had health insurance to their spouses. But this guy was like looking for health insurance. And I didn't even know anything. Who are the providers? What is co-insurance or deductible? Or like none of these made any sense to me. And you go to Google, insurance is a category where like a major ad spend category. So even if you ask for something, you know, Google has no incentive to give you clear answers. They want you to click on all these links and read for yourself because all these insurance providers are bidding to get your attention. So we integrated a Slack bot that just pings GPT 3.5 and answered a question. Now, sounds like problem solved, except we didn't even know whether what it said was correct or not. And in fact, it was saying incorrect things. And we were like, okay, how do we address this problem? And we remembered our academic roots uh, you know, Dennis and myself were both academics. Dennis is my co-founder. And we said, okay, what is one way we stop ourselves from saying nonsense in a peer review paper? We're always making sure we can cite what it says, what, what, we, what we write every sentence. Now, what if we ask the chatbot to do that? And then we realized that's literally how Wikipedia works. In Wikipedia, if you do a random edit, people expect you to actually have a source for that. And not just any random source, they expect you to make sure that the source is notable. You know, there are so many standards for like what counts as notable and not. So we decided this is worth working on and it's not just a problem that will be solved by a smarter model because there's so many other things to do on the search layer and the sources layer and making sure like how well the answer is formatted and presented to the user. So that's why the product exists.